This is CARE 11 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. A freshman accused in the first deadly school shooting by a student in Minnesota history is apparently the son of a law enforcement officer. And tonight, classmates say at least one of the victims was not an intended target. The 15-year-old opened fire at Ricori High School in Cold Spring, shooting fellow freshman Seth Bartell twice before killing senior Aaron Rollins. It's an act of violence that's left a quiet community devastated. CARE 11's Brad Woodard begins our team report with more on how the crime unfolded and the heroic teacher who put a stop to it. Well, Julie, what began as an ordinary day at Ricori High School took a most unfortunate turn. And as you indicated, one student is dead tonight, another is fighting for his life, and a third student, the suspected shooter, is in custody. Authorities say he is cooperating. Uh, this is very tragic, very sad, and we're all trying to understand why. It was, it was our, our friend, friend that got shot. The shots rang out just before lunch, and the news spread quickly. My heart sunk. <laughs> it's like I wanted to leave work and see if my kids were okay. They got the arrow. Two other students, however, were not. High school senior Aaron Rollins died from a gunshot wound. Freshman Seth Bartell was critically wounded. One shot in the gym, the other in a weight room. The suspected gunman, another freshman whose father happens to be in law enforcement. We had no reason to suspect an incident like this. There are you know, some typical disciplinary issues in the past, but nothing that would lead us to believe that an incident like this would occur. But as 850 students emerged from the school, stunned, confused, and in disbelief, a different version of events. I cannot believe this happened in our school gym. Just it's just because a couple kids were teasing someone and just got out of hand, so. He brought a gun just to kill him because he was getting picked up. He'd been teased and he was really angry at one of the kids and he shot him, I guess, I don't know. At this point, we believe that it was a, a teacher slash coach, um, very re well respected in the Recorey district, who may have talked him into um, surrendering the, the weapon. Too scary sometimes. That teacher, Mark Johnson, is being heralded as a hero. We spoke with him briefly at his home near the school. I'm going to make a statement tomorrow. Meantime, authorities aren't commenting on the fact that the suspected gunman's father is one of their own. Although I will tell you that this investigation is being conducted jointly with numerous agencies to avoid any uh, impression that there's a conflict of any kind. Among those agencies, the Minnesota BCA, the FBI, and the ATF. Now, you might have noticed, Paul and Julie, that we're not naming the suspect. Obviously, we know his identity, but we're not going to reveal his name until that's made official by police. Police, by the way, have been interviewing people throughout the night. They're very reluctant to discuss uh, details of the case because they don't want to jeopardize or contaminate those interviews. As for the school, the high school is still a crime scene. The high schoolers are being asked to report to the middle school here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Well, they will be debriefed and be provided with counseling. Back to you.